Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in JE Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2020. This was based on the concept of mutual inductance in a circuit based question and hence many students would have been you know uh, like they would have left this question or simply they would have stumped they would have been you know confused or they would have left this question. The reason is that not that this question is difficult but like um, most students do not practice mutual inductance based question on the circuit hence this question would have been slightly novel in that sense let us see what is happening over here there are two circuits the flux of the both the coils are linked uh, hence the mutual inductance has been given which is 5 milli henry now when we close both the circuits we have to find the work done by both the cells against the emf of the inductors so basically we have to find the energy stored in the inductor that essentially will be worked on by the cells against the mf of the inductors now when we close the circuit it is easy to see that finally the steady state current in the first circuit will be 5 upon 5 which is 1 ampere and in the second circuit will be 20 upon 10 will be 2 amperes this will be the steady state current transient current of course that means time varying function will be i1 over here and i2 over here both will be time varying functions now if i say that let's say uh, how let's say in dt time how much work is being done so dw1 dw1 is the work done in against the emf of this inductor in time dt so can i write this dw1 as e1 i1 dt like power is vi power is rate of work being done so dw1 by dt will be emf of this into i1 right now it will be interesting to see how do we write e1 so even if you see carefully can be done as l1 di1 by dt plus or minus m into di2 by dt why did i write plus or minus because we are not sure whether the flux of second coil is up, is is in the same sense as the flux of the first coil that means it might happen that flux of the first coil is going from up to down magnetic field lines are being created in this direction but the flux of the second coil which is passing through first coil might be going up right so that cannot be ascertained by looking at the windings so if this is the scenario then it will be minus on the other hand if the flux are both the fluxes are going in the same direction then it will be plus okay so this is the anyway so but see the practical utility is that if we take flux flux uh, sorry if we take plus sign the reason is that we do not want to decrease the inductance uh, you no, know, practically it will be more useful if the inductance is high so that energy can more energy can be stored so ideally the uh, plus sign makes more sense okay but anyway i'm going to compute the answer using both the signs so even is this so if you see what is dw1 dw1 if you put this value uh, dt will come over here so this will become l1 di1 into i1 okay plus minus m into i1 into d of i2 okay uh, symmetrically speaking we can write dw2 as l2 di2 into i2 plus minus m into i2 into di1 right so if you add these two and integrate it so we can say that w1 plus w2 will be equals to integral of l1 di1 okay into i1 plus integral of l2 i2 di2 plus this you can see m we can take outside di1 let me okay let me write on the next slide this will be slightly okay so w1 plus w2 will be equals to integral of l1 i1 di1 plus integral of l2 i2 di2 plus m will come outside i1 di2 plus mi minus no here it will not be plus minus here it will be plus minus okay uh, plus i2 di1 make sense so if you integrate this you can see that this will become half l1 i1 square so half l1 i1 square this will become half l2 i2 square plus or minus m d of i1 i2 you can see this is written d of i1 i2 
So that will become I1, I2, right? So when you put the values, uh, now we can put I1 as uh, one ampere, I2 as two amperes. So you just have to put the values I1 as one ampere and I2 as two amperes. M is given and uh, L, everything is given. So you'll get your answer in millijoules because they are millihenries. So if you take plus sign, you are going to get 55 millijoules. If you take minus sign, you're going to get 35. So this will become, you know, uh, this is, this comes out to be 45 and this comes out to be 10. So 45 plus 10 is 55 and 45 minus 10 is 35. So again, as I said, plus sign makes more sense because we would not want, you know, inductance to decrease. Okay. Hence 55 should be the better answer. Yeah. In fact, it is the better answer because, you know, um, IIT finally released the answer and they chose only 55. So that's it. Thank you.